The juvenile court system in Butte is seeing more teens facing serious offenses, and that's putting a strain on its budget, especially when it comes to detaining youthful offenders. There are some cases, very, very few cases, but serious cases where we need to have a, a child detained and um, maintain safety in the community. Butte's Youth Court is seeking an additional $286,000 for its budget that has already spent over $337,000 this fiscal year. Since the youth detention facility in nearby Galen closed a few years ago, underage offenders who have to be detained are taken to a facility in Great Falls. It costs about $230 a day to detain a youth. It creates another logistic problem. How do we get that person here? How do we maintain our staffing patterns on the street when we have to send two officers to a transport in Great Falls? Officials believe the stress of the pandemic contributes to the increased behavioral problems they're seeing with youth. More mental health issues than we've seen in the past. Um, I think some kids got behind, they get frustrated, they're acting out in school, acting out in ho at the home. Um, parents are struggling. The youth court currently has 135 juvenile offenders in the system, with about 10% of those cases involving serious offenses. There are two juveniles serving long-term detention in Great Falls. The goal of the court is to find alternatives to detention when dealing with juveniles. Our job is to figure out how we get them to make better choices and get the services that they need. And dealing with juvenile offenders will continue to be a complicated issue for the court and law enforcement. I don't see there being a youth uh, detention center built in this area in the near future at all. I don't see that happening in, in the next several years. So this is a, something we're just going to have to work our way through. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.